All right, so to get started with Graphiter in the mini lesson here, all we need to do is, if it downloaded and posted here, the app, or if you click on the Windows button, you can see it takes you into, in my case, it took me right into because I had the application open. If you need to find it, just click on the Windows button and then scroll down on the left-hand side over here where you see uh, the alphabetic uh, list of applications. All right, so now I've already created a second sketch pad. What you're gonna do is just go into the first one here, the only one that's there. You'll open that up, all right? And again, over here, it gives it just defaults with a horizontal. So over here, I have my pen, and I got, let me see if I can get those tools out a little bit by rotating here. Okay, so here's my tool settings. Bring that down and in. Okay, and here's my pencil. And what I want to do now is just practice, okay? Again, I want to look at what I've got. Let me turn my device again here. All right, so you can see more of the page. Right now, the tool settings, as you see here, all right, the different pencil sizes. And again, the pencil sizes have to do with the weight of the pencil or the thickness of the pencil. All pencils have a different numeric value. And a regular pencil here, this one, number two pencil, this one's called an HB. An HB pencil is in the middle of the range of graphites. Now, what does that mean? There's the HB pencil right there. That just means that the mixture, there's actually no lead in a pencil. It just means the mixture of clay and graphite in the tip is either harder if there's more clay or softer Bs if there's more graphite. So H pencils make light marks, B pencils make dark marks. So if you start off with a 4H pencil, and you kind of think of it as a value scale, and right now my tool, my pencil size is at an 11. So let me just figure out what that makes. Oh, that's a 4H. See how light that is? Very, very light. And you can see, if I continue by adding pressure and overlapping the mark, how much darker that line gets. Now on the opposite side of that, I got my 8B pencil, right? And I make a few scribbles with that, with not a lot of pressure, and you can immediately see how dark it is. If I do the same thing at the top here, look how dark that value gets, just with an overlapping technique. And again, that is an 8B pencil. All right, so spend some time playing around with different pen types, right? If I go to a 3B, what type of a value does this give me? 3B. You'll notice the mark 2. If you click on the little lines here up at the top, if you click on that, I go to settings, and in the settings, it pops up over here, I can look at different types of pen calibration, right? It draw a pencil stroke in the area, start with a low pressure, slow motion, and build up to your maximum comfortable pressure and speed. So if I start off light this way, and then basically like I'm shading an area, the faster I go, it recognizes the minimum and the maximum movement of the pen. So that way, when I close that, by clicking the lines up here, close that, I can, oh, right here, click up. There we go. Click on the lines and close the settings. Now, what it reads is how much smoother the pencil line will be. And the beginning, see it's really light. If I don't put a lot of pressure, it's just like a regular pencil. If I don't put a lot of pressure, it creates a very light value. If I want to put more pressure into the beginning of the mark, look at that. It makes a nice dark mark. So spend some time, about 15, 20 minutes, just playing around with the different pencil types. Also, take a look at, you know, if you're doing a lightly area shaded of value, and I increase the size of the tip to something like a 64, what is that going to do? What does that look like? What happens if I shade over that? Okay, so you can see how you can also use the other tool here, which is our eraser, 
and I have it set at soft and the size is very large right now and opacity. So maybe I wanna just kind of create a highlight in an area of the uh, value there. Look at that. So I just kind of lightened that area of value without, and of course, if I go over it and over it and over it, you know, it creates a full eraser. If I change the size down to something very thin, maybe I have an area where I need to create a thin highlight I can use the eraser as a lifting tool or a drawing tool to pull highlights out of areas of value. Okay? All right, so just spend some time playing around getting to know the different types of pencil points, the different weights, or the different thickness, darknesses of the pencils, and we'll get back together in a little while.